Hello and welcome to Billion IAs. Today we are going to deal with the topic Write Intent Confusing Content. This is relevant in GS Paper 3 Environmental Pollution and Degradation. And this topic is mainly related to the e-waste that is the electronic waste. So coming to the news article, it is a draft e-waste management rules 2022 write intent confusing content so the relevance is it is to understand the challenges associated with the draft e-waste management rules 2022 and this year marks a decade since the e-waste e-waste rules came into effect in india so e-waste rules means the management and handling rules came into effect in india and it this year marks as a decade and also these rules have been amended lots of times and also the most recent amendment is the draft e-waste management rules 2022 so the relevance is we are going to deal with the challenges in the draft e-waste management rules 2022 so this is an amended amended version of the changed version of the means some changes have been implemented in the e-waste uh, rules that is the management and handling rules so coming to the e-waste so what do you mean by e-waste e-waste means electronic waste and also the term is used to describe the old and also end of life or the discarded electronic appliances so this is called e-waste or the electronic waste it includes the compute uh, components consumables parts and also the space so this is the definition of e-waste the ministry of environment forest and climate change has released the draft notification for electronic waste management for the public feedback so we have to remember this ministry the ministry of environment forest and the climate change has released the draft notific electronic waste management for the public feedback so in 2016, India has a formal set of rules for the electronic waste management and also it underwent uh, certain amendments in 2018. So again in 2022, some uh, changes have been made in these draft rules and it will be uh, it will come into effect by the 2022 August. Key provisions of draft notifications for the electronic waste management. So there are some key provisions for the draft notification for the electronic waste management. This is not the changed aspect of uh, this is not the changed aspect. This is the key provisions of the draft notification for electronic waste which uh, which carried in 2016. And also means here the electronic goods are covered and uh, a wide range of electronic goods are covered in this draft includes the laptops landline and also the mobile phones camera records music systems lots of medical equipments are there refrigerators are there lots of things are included in this draft notification and also the e-waste collection target so uh, according to the ministry they already set a collection target for the e-waste and here the Consumer good companies and the makers of electronic goods have to ensure at least 60% of their electronic waste is collected and recycled. So this is the important target they set means, means at least 60% of the electronic waste is collected or recycled by, the, by 2023. It is done by the consumer goods companies and also the makers of electronic goods and also it is to increase the target. Uh, to 70% in 2024 and 80% in 2025 and also these company have to register on an online portal and also they have to specify their annual production and the e-waste collection targets and EPR certificate EPR certificate means it is the extended producer responsibility certificate so these rules bringing into effect a system of trading in certificates and also akin to carbon credits and also that will allow companies to temporarily bridge the shortfalls. And also these certificates means the extended producer responsibility certificates that certify the quantity of e-waste collector means the electronic waste collector and also recycled in a particular year by a company and an organization and also they can sell their surplus quantities to any other company in order to meet their obligations or to meet their demands or other expenses so they have this provision too they can sell their surplus quantities to any other company 
according to the extended producer responsibility certificates that is the epr also there is a focus on circular economy it means the new rules emphasizes on the epr uh, and also recycling and trading so this follows the government's objectives to promote a circular economy and also the penalty is there if the company doesn't meet it means they do, they didn't meet their annual targets they have to pay a fine or the environmental compensation so it's a good aspect of this puft because uh, the company have to fine uh, means company have to pay a fine or an environmental compensation compensation if they didn't meet their annual targets and uh, but uh, the draft doesn't specify the quantum of these fines and also the implementing authority is the cpcb cpcb means the central pollution control board and also it will oversee the overall implementations of these regulations and the responsibility of the state governments so we know that uh, electronic waste it is highly hazardous and also it will lead to lots of health and safety issues to workers so the state government have the responsibility to ensure the health and the safety of the workers who are engaged in the dismantling and recycling uh, of the e waste and the advantages of the draft e waste rules so uh, e draft e waste rules have a lots of advantages so the first one is the expanding the definition of e waste and also they are specifying more clearly specifying the penalties for the violation for the rules means uh, they um, if the company didn't meet the uh, guidelines for the for the recycling and also they have to pay the penalties or the fine and also the introducing an environmental compensation fund which is based on the polluter pays principle and and also recognizing the informal waste workers so state government have the responsibility to ensure the health and safety of the workers who are dealing with the recycling and also the collection of the e waste and the challenges associated with the draft e waste rules the main challenges means so they have to achieve the target to recycle 60 percentage of the e waste generated in 2022 to 23 it appears too optimistic most of the recycling of the valuable material is carried out within the informal sector so informal sector is playing an important role in the recycling of this e waste so the informal sector is using inefficient and unsafe technologies so in considering this point the target to recycle 60 percentage of the uh, e waste in 2022 to 23 it, it appears to be too op optimistic so in order to maintain the recycling and to achieve the target the government has to focus on existing formal and informal place means if it wants to create better recycling facilities and also uh, the draft rules are silent on regulating registered collectors and dismantlers and producer responsibility organization so this is a challenge associated with the draft e waste rules means the draft rules are silent they are not mentioning about anything uh, means they are not mentioning anything about regulating registered collectors and also the dismantlers and producer responsibility organization the informal sector accounts for a vast majority of e waste processed in india and most e waste policy debates have centered around the integration of the informal sector into the formal sector so so when coming to the e waste policy debate there is a centered centered argument is there means it is ab about the integration of the informal sector into the formal systems but the proposed regulations place the responsibility of such integration on the state governments without specifying what the intensives are for them to do this the proposed regulations place the responsibility of such integration means the integration of the informal sector into the formal systems on the state governments uh, without specifying what the incentives so they are not specifying the incentives uh, for them to do this and coming to the fourth challenge that is based on the european experiences based on the european experiences the regulators face more difficulties in monitoring and enforcing recycling targets than collection targets so when comparing to the collection targets and recycling targets regulators face more difficulties monitoring and enforcing the recycling targets 
and also the present draft is silent on whether the rules will apply to the aggregate weight of e waste or to every component of an e product so the fifth challenge is the steering committee mentioned in the draft which lacks the representations in the committee means uh, there is no representation from the science or academia and also the civil society organizations so this is the end of today's discussions i hope you all got it and thank you